This question is exactly like the delta H Hess's law questions. There's no difference. You just got to get used to using K's. So this is the overall reaction right there on top. We need to use these three reactions to add up to that one. Okay. So what we'll do, uh, we want to find these down here. So water is right here. There's water uh, O2. Is I think right only there. Yeah. And then H2. Okay, so everything not circled is an intermediate. Okay, now what we're going to do is just take these one at a time. So, like, let's take water, it doesn't matter where we'll start. There's supposed to be two in the products here, it has one in the product. So I multiply this one overall by two. So now the waters are all matched up. In fact, magically, it causes the H2 to work also. That means, does anybody know what I do with this? And that's if it was in uh, delta H. I would do that. Where? Okay. Yeah, I gotta raise it to the two. So delta H's are kind of additive. These are multiplicative. So you gotta raise it to the exponent. Okay, let's see what else. We got O2 down here. I have one in the reactant here. I have a half, so I need to multiply that by two also. So this I also square. I've got to take care of that top reaction. It's just going to help cancel out a couple intermediates. So uh, I have C that appears once, CO2, which appears once, and CO, which appears twice down here. So I'm just going to use the one, one of them that appear least often. So I'm either going to pick one of these, C or CO2. Any preference? C. C. So I compare it to this one down here. I need this to cancel. Here I was trying to keep them when I compared it to this one. This one I needed to cancel. So I've got two C's here in the reactants. I need these two of these to be in the products. I'm going to multiply by minus 2 to flip it and to put it in a prop so it goes in products and two so it's the same number. You'll see for the CO2 it also does the same thing. So the CO2 will cancel. You'll all also notice that the uh, this CO should work out too. You'll have four over here in the reactants, two of these and two of these, that total of four. So all the intermediates will cancel. This one I've got to raise the minus two. So whatever you multiply by the, the reaction by, you raise it to that power. Uh, and then we want to get our total K for this reaction. So Kc, overall, K total, is going to equal the Kc of 1. What do I do to, to get the total K? I don't add them. Multiply all of them. I have to multiply. So we're going to K's are multiplicative, times Kc2, times Kc3. So that's just going to equal 0 0.64 to the minus 2, times 1.4 to the 2, times 1 times 10 to the 8th to the 2. That's going to be Kc total. And then if I have my equation right, I believe it's Kp equals Kc R, T, the change in N. Is that equation right? I think it's Kp equals, not Kc equals. So then, uh, Kc, that's that value right there. R is your ideal gas law constant. T is given in the problem, you'll see it right here, 1200 K. So that's T. Twelve hundred K. Change in N. 
That's the moles of the products, 2, minus the sum of the moles of the reactants, 2 plus 1, or a total of minus 1. Is that okay with everybody? No. Okay. Moles, so basically the coefficient of the sum of the products, 2. Mm -hmm. Minus 1, minus 2. So you subtract the moles of the reactants, or 2 minus 3. Okay? So that would give us a total of minus 1 for this. Because we lost one mole in the process. You got it. You lost overall one mole. And whatever that turns out to be in this case, Five times ten to the fourteenth. Okay. Is that okay for you? 